Namaste. Today, I am going to be talking about liver and its significance in diseases like diabetes and many other lifestyle diseases like dyslipidemia or obesity and other metabolic syndromes. Um, so, uh, talking about liver, liver is the second largest organ in the body next to the skin. Liver acts as a mega factory. It is responsible for the breakdown of so many compounds, toxins, drugs into non-poisonous substances and helps in its excretion from the body. Talking about some of the functions of liver, it uh, helps to convert the excess glucose and it stores as glycogen which is needed for uh, energy whenever it is required. And uh, it is important for lipid metabolism. It produces a lot of cholesterol and proteins which carry them. It is important for the production of a lot of amino acids which are the basic framework of proteins. Apart from that, it plays a role in producing your clotting factors, then for your uh, hemoglobin and so on. So bile acids and bile salts are also produced in the liver. Whenever blood is entering the liver, it carries all the toxins, drugs along with it. And once it is metabolized, once they are broken down into non-toxic particles, it can get excreted either through the bile into the intestines to be carried away as your stools or feces or it can get into blood and again go into the kidneys to be filtrated out as urine. So, liver is the organ which is responsible for breaking down the toxic components. Ammonia gets built up as a byproduct of protein metabolism. Liver converts this ammonia into urea and throws it out of the body. So, so many things our liver does and in this video, I will brief you about the significance of good liver health. What are the symptoms of liver diseases? First and foremost symptom is jaundice. So, your bilirubin which is the substance produced by the liver goes up and when it reaches beyond 2, it is called jaundice. And in jaundice, you know that uh, if at all it is because of an infective etiology, because of some viral infection like hepatitis A, B, C or E, the jaundice causes fever to start with and uh, followed by vomiting sensation, anorexia or not feeling hungry, yellowish discoloration of the uh, eyes, of the nails, of the skin and so on. Certain types of jaundice, if at all caused by hepatitis A and so on, are completely curable with medications. Infections with uh, hepatitis B and C viruses cause long-term effects on the liver. Alcohol is another cause. Excessive alcohol use also causes a lot of liver diseases. It causes again hepatitis, fatty liver and followed by cirrhosis and even hepatocellular carcinoma or cancer of the liver. But today I will be talking about non-alcoholic fatty liver disease which is as the name implies it is not because of any alcohol intake but because of the excess fat around your abdomen. Studies have proved that the excess fat which is getting deposited in this abdominal area or the visceral fat around the organs especially the liver and the pancreas is the cause for your insulin resistance and as I always speak about it as it is the cause for your diabetes and other lifestyle diseases this visceral fat is very bad for the body. So initially the excess triglycerides and so on just get stored there and that is called fatty liver grade 1. Though it is inert it can progress into the second stage where it starts causing inflammation and this is what is very bad and when the inflammation continues from plain fatty liver it continues to hepatitis then cirrhosis wherein the entire architecture of the liver is altered leading to a lot of symptoms later on it can progress into cancers as well. So it is very important to recognize these diseases early in the development so that it can be reversed. So what is the reason for it? Glucose toxicity and lipotoxicity as in excessive carbohydrates and excessive fat. So 
so our poor lifestyle is the most important reason for this fatty disease non alcoholic fatty liver disease coupled with lack of exercise and increased high calorie diet in the form of uh, fried food uh, trans fats and so on it leads to an increased levels of triglycerides in the blood which gets deposited in the liver now talking about the investigations initially we do a blood test called the liver function test in that there are many components one is the bilirubin direct bilirubin indirect bilirubin when bilirubin increases beyond 2 we start seeing the yellowish discoloration of your eyes and skin which is called jaundice there are conditions like congenital hyperbilirubinemia where it is a abnormality since birth and if at all it is there there is nothing to worry but in a person without any previous history we need to keep monitoring the liver function test then there are other components like sgot and sgpt these two are the enzyme levels if at all they are increasing and when it increases beyond 2 to 2 and a half folds it is extremely significant and the minute they are rising up we have to know that some inflammation is already going on in the liver then another important marker is alkaline ph phosphatase which is called alt again that is increased in cases of excessive alcohol usage then you will see the protein in conditions where you start losing proteins via the kidneys the protein starts decreasing there and inside the proteins there is albumin and globulin usually albumin is more than two times of the globulin if at all the globulin starts increasing it suggests chronic liver diseases apart from that a sonogram tells you the stage of fatty liver and so on a regular sonogram of the abdomen and pelvis helps us to recognize what stage of liver disease you are in uh, there are other further investigations like a fibro scan and so on to understand this problem better so whenever you see that your liver function tests are compromised please get to a doctor immediately so that this fatty liver is recognized early in its progression and treatment with lifestyle modifications are started immediately so that the condition is totally reversed if you follow good lifestyle along with calorie restriction and weight loss around 5 to 10 kg of weight if you are able to reduce definitely these diseases are reversible along with a very good control of diabetes i would like to conclude with the key points our body is one and it is interrelated all the lifestyle diseases are interlinked to each other uh, insulin resistance is the cause for your liver disease for your diabetes for your metabolic syndrome and so on uh, this further increases the cholesterol levels which puts you at risk of heart disease and it is totally preventable if at all you recognize these problems early the simple solution is follow healthy lifestyle eat right sleep well manage stress exercise regularly and lead a healthy happy life take care bye